What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. It is currently 6.01 in the AM and I have just arrived. Hang on. And I have just arrived at work. Um, actually, probably about 10 minutes later than I normally am. Um, yeah. <laughs> Today we're just going to be going about my day. I put a post up on Instagram, um, asked you guys to ask me any questions. And so we're going to go along the day as we usually would, like I normally do with a Q&A. Um, I, I much prefer something like that to me just kind of being sat there answering questions, you know. But anyway, it's going to be a good video. Drop it a like if you're excited. Comment down below and let's wake up and get today's video started. <laughs> Very productive, oh my god, that sun, wow. Very productive uh, morning at work, everybody. Hope you're all doing good, hope you're all enjoying the video so far. Let's kick it off with question one. Body power 2019, abso freaking lootly What is your least favorite cereal? Okay, um, I'm not really much of a cereal guy. I mean, all the people at work, all the lads at work, um, really enjoy cereal, but I never really have it. I don't know, milk bloats me like a lot, and so having a lot of milk with cereal kind of just puts me off the idea of cereal. Um, least favorite, I mean, the chocolatey ones are the best, aren't they? So the, the non-chocolate ones, let's go with that. When are we going to collab? Mate, just hit me up, just hit me up. Slide into the DMs and we'll sort something out. Right, everybody, that will do for the questions for now. I'm going to go into town and do a spot, oh, my car won't turn on, and do a spot of Christmas shopping. You guys can't see me if I put you down there. What is going on? This camera's meant to be good. I have some Christmas shopping to do. I have to come back to work a little bit later. I've got a little break in between. I'm gonna go get some food, probably a white monster, let's be real. And um, I can show you guys the Christmas market. That'll be nice. So, away we go. Right, this really annoys me about car parks, right? This is a prime example of I have a nice car, so I'll park where I want. Like, love the car. Very jealous of the car, in fact. But look, you're clearly not in the freaking space, mate. And the guy next to him, again, not in the space. What is wrong with people in this car park? Park properly. Another one, like, come on, man, come on! Can't find a freaking place to park because of how these all these people are parked. I've driven past, like, what, three that you guys have seen. They're just the ones that I've freaking recorded. People just park where they like. It's obviously, oh, can I get in there? Oh, oh, might be able to get in there. Let's try. You don't know until you try, Liam. Try, we need to try, try, try. Oh, shut up, shut up, Liam. Nope, not gonna fit in there. Not gonna fit in there. Back up, back up. We go again! We go again! Oh my god, look at this. Look, just look at this, like... What? What? Honestly... I honestly think I'm gonna have to go somewhere else because I'm not gonna be able to get parked in here because people are parked over two spaces throughout the entire car park. I take back the nice car thing though because apparently it's just every body in this car park. Is this a space? Oh my, you have to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. We're over the space. Again. I could have parked here. If you two had parked, oh not you, not you, not you. Mr. You. I honestly don't know what to do. I'm going to have to change car parts I think. Which is annoying because i got a ticket so I'm going to have to pay for this car park. If I can't, even if I can't get par, do you know what I mean? So, oh my god, unbelievable! I never known anything like this. Gonna get in there? No, because they're parked on. Oh wow, what is going on? I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Right, we're gonna have to squeeze in here. 
Breathe in, everybody. Breathe in. No, not happening. Not happening. God! <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed right now. Well, oh my God. I've never known anything quite like that before. Never struggled to get a, a space in this car park, right? This is across the street from Coach House. I'll show you it in just a minute. But I have never actually struggled to get to get a parking space before. But not only that, I could have got parking spaces. Oh, uh, anyway, we're parked now. We're parked. So I'm actually quite glad I'm all the way up here, so that I can show you. My freaking city, man. Look at this. You got Market Square with all the Christmas market, and you've got Trent Bridge where all the cricket's played, and then my work's like somewhere around here. The view from up here has always been like, well, it's always been the same because the view hasn't changed, but you get what I mean. It's always been really cool, um, and I actually came up here not too long ago. Um, well, I say not too long ago, maybe about a year ago with Charlotte for like a LSJ photo shoot type thing. Um, and it was just good fun, like, we were just just goofing around like, up on the roof. You can see the castle all up over this side and stuff, it's actually been renovated right now. You can see all the castle over in this direction here, and Coach House is just down there. In fact, that there is my bedroom window, and that there is the kitchen. Those were the freaking days, man. Right, let's go do some shopping. Next question, if you had to lose a sense, what would it be? And I was gonna say smell, but then because I was walking around that market and it just, oh, you could just smell sausages and you could smell like pancakes and all sorts. I just, I was gonna say smell, but I don't know if I can. And that's Coach House, by the way. You didn't think I'd come into the centre of Nottingham and not show you coach house, did you? Oh, it even smells the same, man. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, it it just couldn't be smell. Not after, not after that. Mmm, my God, some of that stuff smelled good. <laughs> okay, uh, next question up. Hang on, give me one second. We have a question from Cam the Cameraman himself. How do you feel you've matured during your time at uni and since graduating? Um, now, I think that's a pretty freaking good question, purely because um, a lot of you guys either watching are at uni or know me from kind of being the student, like, at university that's when you kind of found me online and all that um and something i always say is that you do grow up when you're at uni i mean although i always talk about how you're in a bubble and stuff you do grow up you mature you learn a lot about yourself you learn a lot about how to deal with certain situations that to be honest you just wouldn't uh you just wouldn't be in if that makes sense, if you weren't at university, if you were kind of just in the comfort zone, if you like, at home, you wouldn't be pushed, if you like, you wouldn't be in those situations. Um, and so you do have to grow up, you have to deal with stuff, and then obviously roller coaster emotions with friends, with whatever it may be along the along the um, the journey, if you like. Um, you just have to kind of deal with it like an adult would because you are an adult, you're living on your own, you're at university, you're doing your own thing, you're paying your own bills, you're washing your own clothes, you're cooking your own meals, you know, you have to act in that situation because you are in charge of yourself, you don't have someone spoon feeding you, you know, um, but what I would say, um, university, 
not necessarily taught me, but I kind of just went to university with the mentality of um, enjoying myself and not taking life too seriously because um, Cam the cameraman knows because he's the one who asked this question. I used to be a bit of a freaking goody-goody, right? I just did whatever. I, I was a goody-goody at school. I, I was a bit of a goody two-shoes, you know? Um, and going to university and because of various things that happened before going to university and stuff, I learned to kind of just not take it as seriously. And I mean, I can might still say that I do take it seriously because, you know, I, I know where I want to go in life and all that kind of stuff. But... In terms of just enjoying myself and living in the moment and all that kind of stuff, university taught me to do that because it teaches you that your time is very kind of short. Three years is nothing in the grand scheme of things. You know, people can live up to freaking 100 and plus nowadays. Um, and so three years in that time is nothing. It's been and gone like real freaking fast. And so you have to enjoy and make the most of the time with your friends and whoever it may be that you're close to um, at university. You have to kind of relish that time, if you like. Relish is probably the wrong word, but um, that would probably be the biggest thing that I would say university not necessarily taught me, um, but I kind of thought about a lot throughout university i thought this is the last ever time i'm doing an l dot this is the last ever time i'm doing a freshers week this is the last ever time i could be going to this place with this group of people like i mean it sounds ridiculous but if you don't think like that then you're not going to then appreciate those moments because it, you just take it for granted if that makes sense and so i guess you could say it taught me to not take things um, for granted it taught me to appreciate sort of those people around me whether that be family or friends or uh, well anything anyone or whoever like I said in previous videos like sort of just gone whoever those special people are in your life sort of keep them close you know um, make the effort with your friends make the effort with your family and yeah I'd say that was what university taught me really right okay so also to appreciate stuff like this. I mean, like hearing the bells, listen. Okay, there's no way in hell you're gonna be able to hear that, but like little things like hearing the bells go off in town and walking around the Christmas market, just feel lucky to kind of be in my situation, you know, be living the life that I am living. I am very fortunate to have been to university. I'm very fortunate to have a job that I enjoy and have friends and family that support me and stuff because not everybody has that. And so another thing would be that it taught me to to be appreciative. So um, yeah, that's that. That's that for that one. Did I uh, did I answer answer that well enough, Cam the cameraman? Let me know in the in the comments down below. I expect to see him on the channel very soon. By the way, we shall be training as much as we can over the festive period, um, as much as we can, based around my work schedule, which is um, absurd. I'm actually on my way back there right now. But anyway. Shopping is done. I didn't show you any of the stuff that I bought because people's bags and uh, people's bags, the bags will kind of give away what I got people and the people that I got stuff for will be watching this video. So I then can't put stuff in the video if that makes sense. But anyway, let's go. Good morning. Good evening. And good afternoon, YouTube. Doggies, where are we at? <laughs> oh, that didn't take long, did it? Hello, let's come and say hello, shall we? Let's come and say hello. How are we doing? How are we feeling today? Hey, hey, how are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Is that flicky <laughs> Oh god, they do make me laugh. Right. What we have to do right now is open this mysterious package. I mean, I wonder what could be inside. <gasps> what do you know? 
Oh, I got me in the face, man. <laughs> Since this is a QA, and a should probably answer another question. Okay, so, I think the time has come to answer one or two of the, the funnier questions that we've had through. You guys, you guys make me laugh too, right? If you had to, oh no, I've already done that one. Um, 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 <laughs> Rob, pubes for teeth or teeth for pubes? <laughs> Um, I mean, neither is ideal, is it? But I mean, I would probably say teeth for pubes purely because I just, no one wants a load of pubes in their face, in their mouth. Like, I don't, n neither, neither is ideal. Moving on. Would you rather have a penis for a nose or a bum hole for a mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a lose lose too. You're either a head or an ass face. You got. <laughs> I don't know. Reckon you could beat me in a Monster Ultra drinking challenge. Well, Aiden. Honestly, no. <laughs> it takes me genuinely hours to drink one of these. Like it's uh, it's about twenty past twelve now. I will probably have this monster until three. Half past three. Um, I literally, I sip on them. I enjoy the taste of them. And it's one thing that I kind of went into a, a, in a different video. Probably a few months ago now. But I don't tend to get like a massive caffeine kick from these. Purely because I drink them so slowly. I just really like the taste of them. I don't drink them like, oh my god, I'm dying. I need some caffeine. Like I just drink them because I enjoy the taste. Just like someone would, I don't know, like a, a Diet Coke or something. Um, so no, I probably, if you're asking me like whether I could chug it faster than you, pro probably not, no, and I, I just wouldn't enjoy it either. What are your top tips for people wanting to start a YouTube channel? Okay, well, first off, um, I'm honoured that you've asked me that question because I'm a tiny YouTuber, and so the fact that you are kind of asking me for tips, you know, um, one tip that I always preach um, is consistency. Uh, you'll find that everybody preaches that. Um, my first ever series was called Consistency. Just have some form of structure to whatever you're going to be doing. And also know where you're going to go with it, but also figure that out. Because that's what took me probably about two years to kind of figure out more than that. I've kind of only really figured it out in the last few months, really. Um, Figure out where you're going to go and how you're going to get there and a consistent way that you can get there, if that makes sense. Um, also, one big thing that I see people doing a lot, don't overcommit. Don't overcommit to a schedule. Don't say, I'm going to daily upload. Don't say, I'm going to do a video every other day or something like that. Um, because it's just not realistic. You know, we have, we're average people. We have jobs. We have stuff to do, we have lives, and so don't overcommit to something, but find something that you can consistently stick to, you know? Um, that'll probably be my, my biggest tip. <laughs> Look at me, L little expert. <laughs> okay! I think we can round things off there for the day, don't you guys? Um, I hope you have enjoyed this kind of Q&A. I'm currently at work and still will be when this video goes live. So I need a favor from you. Like, comment down below and share this video to your friends, to your family, to your hamster and everybody else in your life. Do that for me and I will love you forever. And don't forget to hit that like button. Oh my God, Liam, I need to like this video right now. It's been amazing. I know, right? I know. Right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to work. Much love. Together we will grow. Have a very Merry Christmas if I don't see any of you guys beforehand. And I'll see you in the next one.